Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to add and delete a visitor or guest account from Windows 10. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so a little bit of backstory on this video. The PC that you can see there, that's the Zotac Zbox, great little PC. But this is designed as a kind of gaming and general use PC, which normally resides in the living area of the house. So we have visitors, guests, children, all sorts trying to use the computer. And it originally was set up with just one account on there, which was a generic admin account, so you could do whatever you wanted. But over time it's got bloated and people have downloaded all sorts of things that they shouldn't have done, and it's become a complete mess and a nightmare. So what I wanted to do was to sort out the system once and for all, but then put a lock on it so that people couldn't mess around with it, but could still actually use it as a functional PC. So, adding the guest or visitor account was a necessity for this particular build. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how I did it and some of the benefits and go through that kind of thing. Also, we're gonna talk about some of the security aspects and also how to make, make sure that the system stays locked down. So, that's enough waffle, let's get on with it. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the start bar or search bar and type in CMD. Now obviously you can search it from Windows if you want to. I find it would be the easiest way. Right click on command prompt because we want to run this as an elevated command. So run as administrator and you get the usual uh, user authentication or user account control thing come up. So click on yes. And now we have our shiny command prompt. So there's two things we need to do now. We need to first, we need to add a visitor account and make it active. And also we need to assign a password to that account if we want to, which again is a bone of contention, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. A little bit. So the first thing we need to do is type in the command. So it's net space user space visitor with a capital V, very important. Then a space, then forward slash add space forward slash active colon and yes. So essentially what we're telling it to do there is two things. So we're telling the system to add the account of visitor and we're also telling it to make that account active. With me so far? Great. So click OK and there we go. The command has completed successfully. So we're all good. Now what we need to do is to think about a password now for this account. Now for ease of use and simplicity, I would suggest not adding a password. The whole point of being a guest account is you don't have to have any interaction. If you're using this in some kind of kiosk PC or some sort of open use PC, you don't want to be hassled by people phoning you or trying to grab you and say, oh, what's the password for the guest account? It's a bit pointless and kind of makes having a guest account ridiculous. So we're going to basically set the account to have no password. So the way to do that is to type in net space user space visitor. then a space, then a star. So that is telling the system that the user account, you want to set a password. So now it says type a password for the user. Now again, if you want to put a password in here, you can, if you want to make it something super simple, like guest or visitor, feel free to do so. But for me, ease of use, I'm not going to put a password in. So I'm just going to press enter. And then we have to confirm that we don't want a password or the password that we did put in. So press enter again. And there we go, there's our command completed successfully. So now what we've got is a kind of generic visitor or guest account with no password. It is locked down quite a lot, so you can't make many changes to the system. If you do want to make changes to the system whilst in that account, you will need the administrator password for the computer. Which leads me on to a secondary part of this. If you are adding a guest or visitor account to your Windows PC, make sure that the main admin account of the computer actually has a password. Otherwise, if someone tries to make a change to the system, it'll come up requesting the password. If you've got your password set to blank, all they need to do is press enter and they can do exactly what they want with your machine. So hopefully that clears up a few things for you. If you've got any comments or questions about this video, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.